Thank you. So my name is Jeremy Pages. This is Blake Cottle. We're the co-founders of Passive Duty. Tonight we're going to talk to you about our law enforcement uh, passive alerting system. So on January 17th, earlier this year, Officer Thomas Cottrell, he was in Danville, Ohio, leaving the, munis the municipal building on his way to a call. As he was walking to his police cruiser, he was ambushed by an armed man. Officer Cottrell responded exactly the way that he had been trained. He removed his firearm from his holster and he attempted to defend himself. Unfortunately, he was injured and he was incapacitated. He wasn't able to use his radio to call for help or signal for the emergency. Officer Cottrell was one of 46 officers that were killed so far this year in the line of duty. Additionally, numerous events involving police use of force have grabbed the public's attention. This has generated an overwhelming number of requests for additional data and transparency. So we met with the Lexington Police Department. And after that meeting, we decided to focus on developing a method for determining whether a firearm was in its holster or not. Because when a firearm is in a properly designed holster, it's in a safe state. We designed the passive duty holster with embedded sensor technologies, and we're utilizing an IoT-focused cellular communications network to relay that data. Our system requires no modifications to existing firearms. We require no additional procedures for law enforcement to be trained on or to follow. We're using GPS technology as well as cell tower triangulation to determine the officer's location and send that information as an alert back to central dispatch in the event that the firearm leaves the holster. So why, why now? As he said, sadly, we see stories in the news of incidents happening where you see force, um, such as Ferguson. So also, you, you have insurance claims. As those incidents happen, the, the rates that the police stations are having to pay for their insurance coverage is increasing. Think of the progressive module in your car to lower your insurance rates. We can use the passive duty belt as a way to monitor situations and to reduce the barrier to entry for agencies on the passive duty system. The market, we have two markets, consumer and law enforcement, government.